Ever wonder why some people seem to have a magic touch when it comes to money while others struggle? Could it be that the financially successful know something others don't? Well, the answer to that question is a resounding yes. That something is financial literacy. But what does this term mean? Financial literacy refers to the ability to understand and effectively use various financial skills, including personal financial management, budgeting, and investing. Now you might be thinking, why is financial literacy important? Here's why. Financial literacy affects your everyday life. It impacts your ability to make sound financial decisions, leading to personal wealth and overall financial stability. It's like a secret weapon that helps you navigate the complex world of finances with ease and confidence. Imagine being in control of your money, knowing exactly where every dollar is going. That's what financial literacy can do for you. It empowers you to make informed decisions about your money, whether you're deciding on a budget, investing in the stock market, or saving for retirement. In fact, financial literacy is a stepping stone to building wealth. It can help you understand how to save, invest, and grow your money. Even when you're starting from scratch, it's not about how much money you make. It's about how well you manage and grow what you have. Moreover, financial literacy can provide you with the tools to avoid financial pitfalls and protect your hard-earned money. It can help you understand the risks and rewards associated with different financial decisions, allowing you to make choices that align with your financial goals and risk tolerance. So, financial literacy is not just about understanding numbers. It's about taking charge of your financial future. It's about understanding the financial world around you and making it work to your advantage. It's about transforming from a passive observer to an active participant in your financial journey. So, it's clear that financial literacy is crucial. But how do we go about improving it? Stay tuned as we demystify complex financial concepts. Personal finance might sound intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. So what exactly does it entail? Well, let's unravel this mystery together. First up is income. This is the money you earn. It could be your salary, profits from your business, or even returns from your investments. It's the fuel that powers your financial engine. Next, we have expenses. These are the costs you incur to live your life. Rent or mortgage payments, groceries, utilities, transportation, and entertainment all fall under expenses. It's essential to be aware of where every dollar goes, as it can help you manage your money effectively. Thirdly, we have savings. This is the portion of your income that you don't spend, but set aside for the future. It's your financial safety net. It could be for emergencies, significant purchases, or long-term goals like retirement. The key here is to pay yourself first, meaning before you pay your bills or spend on anything else, set aside a portion of your income for savings. Finally, we have investments. This is where you put your money to work for you. Instead of just saving it, you invest it in assets that are expected to provide a return over time like stocks, bonds, or real estate. Investments are a way to grow your wealth and achieve financial goals faster. But remember, with greater potential returns come greater risks. So in essence, personal finance is a balancing act. It's about managing your income and expenses while also saving and investing wisely. It's about making informed decisions that can help you achieve your financial goals. Remember, understanding these basics is the first step toward financial literacy. It's like learning the alphabet before you start reading. Once you've got a handle on these, you're well on your way to becoming financially savvy. So now that we've got the basics of personal finance down, let's delve deeper into the world of savings and investments. Saving money. It's something we all know we should do, but why is it so important? Well, there's more to it than just stocking up for a rainy day. Saving money is like laying bricks for your financial future. Let's break it down. Imagine a financial journey where you're the captain of your own ship. You wouldn't set sail without a map, would you? That's what your savings are. A map to guide you through the rough seas of life's unexpected expenses and towards the shores of your financial goals. But it's not just about stashing away every penny under your mattress. It's about strategic saving. Think of it this way. When you save, you're not just setting money aside. You're building a financial cushion that can help you weather financial storms. Whether it's an unexpected job loss, a medical emergency, or a sudden home repair, having savings means you have a safety net to fall back on. But saving isn't just about emergencies. It's also about creating opportunities and achieving financial freedom. Want to buy a house, start a business, or simply retire comfortably? Your savings can make these dreams a reality. Now let's talk about a secret weapon in the world of saving. Compound interest. Imagine planting a seed and watching it grow into a tree 
then watching the seeds from that tree grow into a forest. That's compound interest. It's your money making more money. The more you save and the earlier you start, the more powerful the effect. You see every dollar saved is a step towards financial freedom. It's your hard-earned money working for you, not just today, but for the rest of your life. It's the power to make choices, to take risks, and to live life on your own terms. Understanding the power of saving is a game changer. But did you know your money can work even harder for you? Let's talk about investing. Investing might seem like a game for the rich and famous, but it's actually a key component of financial literacy for everyone. Okay, let's break it down. Investing is essentially making your money work for you. It's like sending your dollars out into the world on a mission to bring back more dollars. It's about creating additional income streams that can help you accomplish your financial goals, whether that's buying a home, sending your kids to college, or retiring comfortably. So how do you invest? Well, there are many ways and it's not a one-size-fits-all kind of thing. You can invest in stocks, which is essentially buying a piece of a company. When the company does well, so do you. Alternatively, you can invest in bonds, which is like lending your money to a company or the government. In return, they promise to pay you back with interest. Then there are mutual funds, where you pool your money with other investors to buy a diverse range of stocks and bonds. This can be a great way to spread out your risk and potentially increase your returns. Now, it's important to note that investing isn't about getting rich quick. It's a long-term game that requires patience, discipline, and a well-thought-out strategy. Diversification is key here. That means spreading your investments across different types of assets to minimize risk. Think of it like not putting all your eggs in one basket. Also, making informed decisions is crucial. Before you invest in anything, do your homework. Understand what you're investing in, the potential risks, and the possible returns. And remember, it's okay to ask for help. There are plenty of resources out there from financial advisors to online tools and platforms that can guide you on your investing journey. Investing wisely can help grow your wealth exponentially. But remember, it's just one piece of the financial literacy puzzle. So, we've covered the basics of financial literacy, but how do we put it all together to achieve financial freedom? Well, let's take a moment to recap what we've learned. We've talked about the significance of financial literacy, how it empowers you to make informed decisions about your money. We've delved into the intricacies of personal finance, exploring budgeting, debt management, and more. We've highlighted the potency of saving, that silent partner that steadily builds your wealth over time. And we've demystified investments, showing you how they can help grow your money exponentially. But knowing all of this is just the start. The real magic happens when you weave these threads together into a cohesive financial plan. It's like crafting a roadmap for your financial journey, a guide that helps you navigate from where you are now to where you want to be, financially free. Creating a financial plan isn't a one-time task, though. It's a living, breathing document that evolves as your life changes. Got a promotion? Great. Adjust your plan. Starting a family? Excellent. Tweak your plan. Encountered an unexpected expense? No problem. Refine your plan. The key here is to stay flexible and adaptable. And while financial literacy gives you a solid foundation, it's important to remember that the world of finance is ever-changing. New investment opportunities emerge, tax laws change, and economic conditions fluctuate. So, staying informed and continuously learning is crucial. Subscribe to financial news, read books, attend workshops, do whatever it takes to keep your financial knowledge up to date. It may seem daunting, but remember, every journey starts with a single step. And with financial literacy, you're not just taking that step blindly. You're stepping forward with confidence, armed with the knowledge to make smart decisions about your money. With financial literacy, you've got the power to take control of your money and your future. Remember, the path to financial freedom starts with a single step. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.